The video is not very high quality. I was watching from across the river with the great blue heron just caught a fish. I filmed for about six minutes. I was having real trouble keeping the thing in focus. So occasionally I cut away to just get rid of the other, the really bad stuff. But there is about six minutes of video compressed into four minutes and 43 seconds. And there must have been an amazing number of fish because this is, this is live action. That, that's the second fish it caught in about a minute. 42 seconds to be exact and um, it just keeps going in after him and going after him and going after him it keeps it, it looks like it's fighting with that one and still hasn't swallowed it yet but there it goes it goes down and then it will go after another one and sometimes when you when you look at it from a distance you can see all the fish splashing so there must have been huge schools of menhaden and so I apologize for the poor quality but it's at the limits of what I can see with the camera and you know you want to see the fish and you want to see everything so you zoom in way more than you should but um, watch this it's, they're, they're, it's, it's like a feeding frenzy with one bird and a huge school of fish we're at 90 seconds and that's the, sec that's the third fish that's caught this, in this one short video Makes four. Usually, when a heron misses, it you know drives the other fish that are nearby away. What this says is that there are just big schools moving through. I, you saw one splash earlier, and you'll see some more soon. But just it just keeps going after them, and you know the fact that it just does that, and then it just there's more fish to go after. Um, that's a very unusual school of fish. It's just big. you notice the splashes of the fish? I'm starting to realize that when you have the half of the frame in the water and half of it on the vegetation on land, it gets the camera gets confused so I try to minimize the amount of water in those shots but do you see the splashes behind it that is some real big school but so you know the camera gets confused if you draw it way back then it's got lots of range and it's fine but it's kind of a nitpicky thing with that camera that it doesn't like to stay in focus when it's really um, at a far distance with low light Look at all those splashes. That is quite a school of Manhattan. 